in the first week of February. From the 9th to the 11th of February, I'll be at Fully Charged, or it's now called Electrify Everything in Australia, in Sydney. I'll be doing a few sessions there, live sessions, and I'd love to see you. But even more important than that, guys, whether or not you want to see me or just see some other people or just see electric cars and electric technology, it's going to be an amazing show. If you want to get tickets there, you should go see it. They're 20% off if you use my promo code, my promo code in the description below. So you can click on the link, jump on, get 20% off your tickets. Now that 20% discount applies to all ticket types. So not one type, but all ticket types and all days. I spend way too much of my life looking at how long battery packs last for, how much battery degradation you'll get after a given point. So say you've driven your car for 50,000 kilometers or you know 30,000 miles. How much battery degradation do you usually get in an EV? Well, it depends on the EV, but generally it's only a few percent. However, sometimes it's a lot more than that. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. We do have a lot of data on how long EVs last for, how long the battery packs last for, how much battery degradation you'll get after driving it for whatever distance. The reason we have a lot of data is because there's been a lot of surveys done on Tesla EV owners. So we know that battery degradation in Teslas is actually relatively low. Generally, from what I've seen in these large surveys, is that after you've driven for around 30,000 miles, you'll get approximately maybe 3% battery degradation, meaning you still have 97 to 98% of your battery pack left. Sometimes it's even more, sometimes it's even 100%. But anyhow, on average, 97 to 98% of your battery pack will be left that you can still use after having driven for 30,000 miles. So around 50,000 kilometers. Now, it's really hard to know this data on other EVs because we don't really collect it. But realistically, the idea that your battery pack will be unusable after 10 years is complete nonsense. Very, very old battery packs are still being used for energy storage that have been in use now for decades. So actually, EV batteries generally will last a very long time. Now, what's happening is battery packs that apparently are dead are not really dead. Often, you'll just have one or two cells, a few cells in a pack that they'll have a problem. So people will just you know, recycle the pack. But that is not happening really anymore. People are fixing them now. It's not that hard to do. Now, in the case of Volkswagen, we don't really have great data on how long their EV battery packs will last for. And it's very hard to buy a Volkswagen EV with a lithium iron phosphate battery pack because they only make those in China. They don't ship those outside of China yet. They will in the future, they say, but they don't do it yet. I mean, for example, Goshan High Tech are trying to build EV battery factories in North America, making lithium ion phosphate batteries for Goshan Volkswagen Group EVs and for Tesla EVs, but um, they're facing some opposition. Anyway, what that means is Volkswagen Group electric cars, including Audi, Skoda, Seat, etc., they have lithium ternary battery packs. In other words, lithium batteries with almost always with nickel, cobalt, and some other material which is often manganese. So NCM chemistry batteries are the most common alternative to a lithium ion phosphate battery. Generally, these batteries don't last quite as long as LFP. Now, there is one guy who has a Volkswagen ID3. It's a relatively new car, and it lost 10% of its battery capacity after only 30,000 miles. That's concerning. Now, this particular Volkswagen ID3, which was made in Germany, has a 62 kilowatt hour battery pack. It's driven only 30,000 miles, which is actually technically 48,000 kilometers. You'd expect that battery degradation would be just a few percent, but it's not. It's a lot more than that. It's 10%. Now it's worth keeping in mind that even the battery pack is a 62 kilowatt hour pack, that's not usable. The only portion of the pack that's usable is 58 kilowatt hours. Therefore, that means so this battery pack now is only able to use around 52 kilowatt hours out of the total pack size of 62. So you're carrying around a fair bit of useless weight now that the battery degradation has come down. 
Now this car, this EV was actually tested by Bjorn. He's got a YouTube channel. He tests EVs to see what their real world range is. And he found the Volkswagen ID3 has worse, has worse efficiency in cold weather than a Tesla Model Y. Standard range, by the way, not the long range version. The long range version has actually even better efficiency than the standard range Model Y. But anyway, the point is here, the Tesla Model Y, much bigger car than the ID3, but it has better efficiency than the ID3 in cold temperatures. So it's worth keeping that in mind. Anyhow, the degradation on the battery pack was surprising. The battery pack now has a total usable capacity of only 52 kilowatt hours. If this rate of degradation were to continue, well, you'd think a Volkswagen Group would have to replace the battery pack because at say the 60,000 mile point, if this degradation continues at this existing speed, that would mean the battery pack would now be down to around 47 kilowatt hours in size. And the range would have gone down enormously as a result. That's, um, that's a worry. Now, fortunately, just most car manufacturers will actually replace your battery if the battery degradation is too fast. It's very, very common that Tesla replaces battery packs. They guarantee generally about 70% minimum capacity after a set period of time. So you don't have to worry too much about this, but I don't know exactly how your individual, basically your dealership in your country will assess this. It really comes down to them. It comes down to whether or not they decide that um, you've done the right thing, you've driven the car in the right way, or you know whether or not they think that maybe you've abused the car. Now, Generally, I don't think that would be an issue, but it is something worth considering. Now, to give you some context, Bjorn also found using this methodology that a Mercedes-Benz EQC saw battery degradation after driving for 145,000 miles of 8%. 145,000 miles in a Mercedes EQC and it had less battery degradation. He also found that a BMW i3, a 2019 model, after 94,000 miles on the odometer, its battery pack had lost only 1.6%. So, I mean, it's not just Teslas that will retain their battery pack capacity better than this EV, it's also Mercedes and BMW electric cars and probably many others as well. Maybe there's something up with this battery pack or maybe it's just a Volkswagen Group's software, which is, well, been a bit of a problem. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.